talking about seizures, doctor, we actually have an animation which kind of shows what goes on chemically in the brain. I understand it's very technical, of course, and there's a lot involved, but perhaps you could explain to us using the animation just kind of what's happening in the brain when a seizure actually affects somebody. Okay, very good. So in animation, <clears throat> what happens is that during a seizure, we have a the seizure starts in one point of the brain, and it's an abnormal activity of a group of neurons that have synchronization and they fire very rapidly. It has a very clear onset. Mm -hmm. They evolve in frequency, intensity. It may or may not generalize. It may have or may not have clinical manifestations, and it has a clear end. And there is a chemical imbalance during those times as well as electrical activity that happens. Uh, in the brain, we have excitatory and inhibitory potentials, and it's a balance of that one maintains us. But when the balance is lost, the inhibition is lost, the excitation increases, and it can become a very frequent, uh, very, the frequency increases, and it's a rapid uh, discharge of the neurons uh, during that time that happens. Let's also talk about the different signs and symptoms of a seizure. Um, we actually have another graphic that lists those. And I'm wondering, doctor, looking at some of these symptoms here, um, do people with epilepsy present you know, signs of their seizures differently? In other words, is it really varying from patient to patient that we might see some of these symptoms? By all means, it uh, depends where the seizure is starting from in the brain. That would be the initial symptom. And if it spreads throughout the brain, because then you'll have different symptoms. And if it's generalized, then you may have generalization without generalized tonic clonic. So as an example, a patient would start with a symptom, which could be, as an example, just twitching of one arm. And it can spread to the half of the body and then it can spread to the entire body. Sometimes the patient is aware at the beginning. Sometimes they lost consciousness immediately. Sometimes they have no memory.